This is the Paracay Podcast, proudly brought to you by major sponsor Jack's Pale Ale, exclusively available at Parramatta Leagues Club, Shannon Cooney from Glenmore Park Realty, Bo Cook from Loan Market, BTZD, the official apparel partner of the Paracay Podcast, and the Parramatta Times, the official media partner of the Paracay Podcast. Welcome to another episode of the Paracave Podcast. And now over to your host, Troy Warner, broadcasting live from the world famous Paracave. And yes, hello and welcome back to another episode of the Paracave Podcast. And today, uh, this, today it is a team list Tuesday for the last time. And it is the Pacific Championships Finals Games. And we have the Pacific Bowl, which I believe is for the second tier nations. And we see Fiji play the PNG Kumuls up in Port Moresby on Sunday at 4 o'clock, 4 p.m. And the other game is between the Australian Kangaroos and the New Zealand Kiwis over there in Hamilton, New Zealand on Saturday at 3 p.m. Now... I'm not going to get too much into the Australia Kangaroos game because I'm going to have a very special guest on Thursday and I will release the podcast on the Friday, I think, and that special guest will be the Warrior Holic. Now, you will know him as a massive New Zealand Warriors fan and wow, what a season they had and he had himself. So can't wait to chat to him on Thursday and for a Friday podcast release before the Saturday game and look we're going to give a bit of a game day preview and our thoughts Uh, the Warrior Holic obviously a Kiwi so he will be going for the Kiwis and he'll give the New Zealand side of things and I'll talk about the kangaroo side of things so I won't give too much away today, uh, but what I'll do is I'll start with the Fiji versus the Kumuls game, PNG Kumuls, up there in Port Moresby. And look, hasn't it been, hasn't it been great to see a rugby international rugby league being played up in Port Moresby for the last month? It's been, it's been great. I think the Cook Islands, Fiji, PNG have all played up there. Um, in front of big crowds, as they do, they love their rugby league. It's a national sport, so and they're trying to get a 18th team into the NRL. So uh, they love it up there. They look, all the players have been mobbed by fans. They just love them. They like gods up there. So um, saw some video of Mike Acevo, uh from the Fijian side being mobbed by fans. They just love him up there as they do in Fiji obviously as well but these big stars of these international teams they are adored by the fans up there so it's great to see but this game is on at 4 p.m on the Sunday and this is the Pacific Bowl Championship final and it is between Fiji and PNG now uh PNG, obviously you've got Alex Johnston there at fullback, Nene McDonald and on the wing, Zach Laybutt who plays for the Cowboys in the centres there, Lachlan Lamb who's over in the English Super League, son of Adrian Lamb and obviously the back row of PNG is probably well well known. Um, Look, we've got Reese Martin there, former Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs player over there in the English Super League now, goal kicker as well, Dan Russell and Jack DeBellin uh, locks the scrum. So they are probably the most notable players in this side, but a lot of these players play over in the English Super League as well. So look, they're not um, known a great deal to us in Australia, or to myself anyway, Um, but what I do know is that they do play the game hard, 
hard and fast. They can pull off some big tackles, and they just love their rugby league. Unfortunately, they lost last week to the Fijians, 43-16. to So a bit of a smashing there from the Fijians, but they will want to be looking to bounce back and hopefully get this win in front of their home fans and get some confidence at the end of the year going to next year going into next year and the coach is of course Justin Holbrook as well so a very well credentialed coach there for the PNG side now for the Fijians well I said it the first time they played their back five is pretty unbelievable. Unfortunately, they didn't turn it on that day, but they certainly turned it on last week against PNG, and they will be looking to turn it on again this weekend. So, Jareen Buller, Mike Sivo, Sunya Taruva, Wanga Blake, Michaeli Ravalawa. So, what a back five there. Certainly a exciting back five uh, for Fiji, and hopefully a lot of points that they will be looking for a lot of points being scored there um, from their back five. Big Tui Kamakamitha is the captain and prop, and Tane Milne is in the second row. So they are probably the well, the most well-known players in this forward pack. Um, but I think if they're going to get the win, it'll be there. The forwards will be doing the hard yards and obviously the big tackles, but it will be the backs who score all the points. And Brandon Wakeham at halfback there, he's had some NRL experience with Canterbury and the West Tigers, so he will lead this side around at halfback um, and hopefully get the ball out to these fast men out in the on the wings and in the centres. And indeed, the fullback, Jareen Buller, who had a great season at the West Tigers, Rookie of the Year there this year, and also uh, making his international international debut a few weeks ago. So uh, looking forward to seeing him in open spaces as well. So look, in this game, I'm going to tip the Fijians. A, a shout out to Phil Brown, who's over there in PNG. Uh, with the Fijians as their manager, I think it is. So shout out to Phil Brown, doing a great job. I'm sure you're enjoying it over there in Fiji. And also Luke Goodwin as well. He's a part of the Fijian squad as well. So shout out to those two legends over there in PNG uh, with the Fijian side. So I'm going to tip the Fijians in this game, and I'm going to tip that it's going to be a big, high-scoring game. I think the PNG side will come back this week and won't let Fiji score as many points as they did last week. So it'll be a bit more of an even contest, but I think both sides can easily score 20 points in this game, and you know, it could be a 50-plus points game indeed, and I think Fiji will get the win, and I'm going to go to Ruva as the first try scorer in that one. Now, as I said before, I've got a special guest on Thursday, chatting to the Warrior Holic on Thursday about this Kangaroos and Kiwis game on Saturday in Waik- uh, Hamilton, New Zealand. 3 p.m. New Zealand time, so I believe it will be about 6 p.m. Um, Australian Eastern Standard Eastern Standard or Daylight Savings Time, I think it will be, 6 p.m. Um, now, this game is going to be a cracker. Obviously, the Kangaroos got the win last week against the Kiwis, scored a lot of points. Harry Grant, Lindsay Collins, outstanding last week. A couple of changes to the Aussie side. Uh, nothing in the backs, and it's just in the forwards. We've got Payne Haas coming back and, and big Tino Fasu on Malawi coming back into this side. So uh, uh, Liam Martin as well, I should say, sorry, uh, coming back into this side. So um, Harry Grant, Lindsay Collins, Pat Carrigan, and Ruben Cotter on the bench as well. So look... It's going to be a cracker of a game. Uh, The New Zealanders, they have named the same side as last week. So potentially a a good thing because they would have learnt from last week. And you want to hope, being a Kiwis fan, that they would have hoped to have learnt from last week and 
they will obviously try and right the wrongs that they did last week and get the win against these kangaroos who have been in fine form as well. So Harry Grant was a difference last week, Lindsay Collins as well, and Hamaso Tabuai Fado in the first game against Samoa. He's been outstanding. Valentine Holmes was good in his comeback game for Australia. Uh, Dylan Edwards has been good on the wing uh, in making his debut two tests ago. Made a little bit of a blunder last week in dropping the ball off a kick, but hey, nobody's perfect. You're going to do that every now and again. Unfortunately for Andrew Voss, he called it as he will be as safe as anything, and commentator's curse, he dropped it. So shout out to Andrew Voss as well, but... uh, this, these things happen. So, look, I won't give too much away there in terms of a score line or a first try scorer there. I'll save that for the chat with the Warrior Holic on um, Thursday, which will be out on Friday. And but I'm pretty sure you know who I who I will be going for in this Pacific Championships final. Um, obviously, I'll be going for the Kangaroos, but. I'll be looking forward to seeing the big front row front rowers battle. James Fisher Harris and Moses Leota for the Kiwis up against Payne Haas and Big Tino. So that'll be fantastic to see big those big boppers go at it. And Cameron Murray as well. Can he break the try scoring record for Australia? Six tries in his last six tests equals Ron the great Ron Coote. Can he get seven in seven? This week against the Kiwis, that would be outstanding for him if he could get that one. So, look, I'm not going to go any further on that one. I'm going to save the chat for the other day, but I just thought it'd be Teamless Tuesday, so I thought I'd bring it out. And as I said, stay tuned for the, um, the podcast on Friday with the Warrior Holic, and we'll go in depth about this game, and we'll get both sides point of view the kangaroos and the kiwi side but as i said you know who i'm going for i'm going for the kangaroos but i won't give away a first try scorer or a score line yet i'll save that for the other podcast but just thought i'd get this one out and uh been the last team list tuesday for the year 2023 and uh i hope you enjoyed this chat and stay tuned for the podcast on friday with the warrior holic for listening to another episode of the Paracade Podcast. See you next time.